Where are all the places where I sell my books? I got this question once and I thought it would be a great topic for a video. Coming right up. What's up guys, Michael Loran here with Author Level Up, helping you master the craft of writing. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell, ding, 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 to get notifications every time I have a new writing video. And I wanted to let you all know also that if you have writing questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm gonna do a Q&A video where I answer as many of your questions rapid fire as I can. So let me know in the comments. But the topic of this video is gonna be where do I sell my books? Uh, I've had a few people ask me this over the period of the last uh, few days, and I thought it would be great to just jump on a video and, and talk about the different places where I sell my books. So many of you all know that I am not exclusive to Amazon KDP Select. I've done videos on KDP Select, you can watch those. <laughs> and uh, I just don't believe in putting all my eggs in one basket. That said, I'm not gonna not KDP Select, I just don't wanna have one source of income. I publish eBooks through Amazon, paperbacks through Amazon, and then also I have audiobooks that I distribute through Audible. So I do have a lot of books in the Amazon ecosystem, but it's not the only place where I sell my books. I also sell my books on draft digital So draft digital is an aggregator. They take your book and distribute it to many different places. Um, for an exchange of a commission. And draft to digital is great. I have no problems with them at all. They've been great to me over the years. And I use them to distribute to Apple. I don't go to directly through Apple just because it's still kind of a pain to do that. I would like to someday, but it's kind of a pain. <laughs> I, I, they also distribute to a, a number of different places for me. I also use Smashwords, although Smashwords is, um, probably the more difficult of the different aggregators that are out there. I mainly use them as a marketplace because I do have some readers who buy books on Smashwords directly. It doesn't happen that often, but um, they do exist. And then there's some places that Smashwords distributes to that other places can't reach. So there's nothing wrong with, with using multiple distributors. I also use Publish Drive, and Publish Drive is also an aggregator. They're a new kid on the block, and they distribute to many different places around the world that other places don't even have. So I distribute my books through Publish Drive. I also distribute my books directly to Kobo Writing Life. So Kobo has been great. They are probably by far the easiest to upload your book to. <laughs> I think I've got it down to where I can upload a book to Kobo in like five minutes. So uh, their dashboard is great. And the nice thing about them is they show you all over the world where where you're selling your books. And uh, they just make everything really easy and streamlined. And they also offer some great promotional opportunities for authors that go directly through the Kobo writing life. I also sell my books directly on Google Play. I got in in 2014 just before they shut their doors <laughs> and I got pretty lucky. Google Play is I think my number three in terms of where I make the most money. And you know, they haven't always had the best dashboard experience. It's been kind of difficult over the years to, to, to publish through them. But in the past nine to 12 months, they've come a long way. So it's a lot easier to publish through them now. They're open, so you can sign up for an account through there. And um, yeah, I, I have no problems with Google Play uh, at all anymore. I also publish my books through Barnes & Noble, but I don't go direct through Barnes & Noble. I use draft to digital um, Yeah, long story about that. Well, that's maybe a topic for another video. <laughs> I, I, I don't feel like... Uh, uh, Throwing dirt, throwing shade on anyone today. Okay, and I can't forget Audible. I mentioned them before, but I, I am, I've got a few books that are exclusive to Audible, meaning I have a royalty share with the narrator. Um, I don't do those anymore. That was something I did very early on in my career. And, you know, fortunately it worked out for me. Things worked pretty well. Uh, I had a few titles that, that continue to do pretty well to this day, but mostly these days I'm doing non-exclusive arrangements, which means I take a lower royalty, but I can do whatever I want with the books. So all of my writing books, for example, are non-exclusive to Audible. And Audible's great. Um, got no problems with them other than uh, the monopoly issues that uh, I think everybody else has an issue with. But um, I've had no problems with them over the years. I also use Findaway Voices since I'm non-exclusive to audio and Findaway Voices has been great. Um, Definitely at first I wasn't sure because I, I just kind of uploaded my books to them and uh, I was kind of pleasantly surprised 
at uh, the, the reach and the distribution that they have and how easy it is to upload your books to them. And uh, they, they seem to really want to help writers sell books. And so I would highly recommend Find Away Voices for anyone who is kind of curious about, oh, should I do them, should I not? Um, I, they definitely have my wholehearted endorsement. But those are the main places where I sell my books. I know I'm probably forgetting one or two different places, but um, some places where I have sold my books in the past, but I don't anymore, Barnes & Noble is the first one. Uh, I just I struggled a little bit with, uh, with their dashboard and um, kind of how they do things. I also used to publish my books on a place called Drive Through Fiction. Um, that, that's a pretty cool site. It's uh, definitely very niche. I never sold any books there, and I ultimately ended up pulling stuff there just for administrative reasons. But uh, I had no problems with their with their service at all. It was, it was a little a little clunky to upload upload books there, but um, there are people there that that do buy books, and there are uh, pretty pretty big fans and uh, folks that like other things as well. So drive through fiction is a place where I used to distribute my books, and uh, don't do that anymore. Okay, so where are some places that I would like to distribute my books to? Well, first and foremost, Ingram Spark is at the top of my list. The only reason I don't distribute to Ingram Spark right now is because of the ISBN issues. I've I've been holding off on purchasing ISBNs for about eight years. I know I need to do it. I know I should do it. I know that that's what you have to do if you want to be a you want to appear as a legit traditional publisher, right? But I just can't justify spending, you know, five hundred thousand dollars more on ISBNs. I just can't do it. There's so many areas in my business right now where I can get a better better bang for my buck that I just have been delaying this and kicking the can down the road. And I, I know it's gonna make it's gonna be really uncomfortable one day when I do decide to do it, but I would like to get on Ingram Spark at some point because their distribution is pretty good. Uh, they're the world's one of the world's largest distributors and um, they offer a lot of really great opportunities. One of the things that I really like about them is they've got a service called Aereo. It's A-E dot R-I-O, which is really cool because um, it basically allows you to install a, a print bookstore, like a paperback bookstore on your website and sell books directly to readers. And then Ingram fulfills the shipping. So you pay a small fee for that. I mean, it's not free, but when the reader gets your books, it's as if they have no, they don't, it's as if it came directly from you which I think is really cool and something I'd like to build out in my direct sales uh, strategy. Uh, also, I do sell books direct. I, I forgot to mention that. I sell books through Payhip and Payhip is great, but it's only through eBooks. So I, I would like to see at some point some sort of service that incorporates eBook sales, audiobook sales, and print sales because right now you kind of have to go through multiple places to do them. So, oh, and then also Streetlib is another distributor that I would like to get into one day. Um, I just, I have so many books, guys, that it's it's to the point now where it's very difficult for me to bring all my books onto a platform because I've got like 55 books and it takes a lot of time to be able to upload all your books and make sure there's no mistakes and all that. So uh, I'm working on some solutions to make that a little bit easier. But Streetlib is really cool because uh, they're a distributor. They, they, they're they kind of like Draft to Digital and Publish Drive and, and all these other places where they'll distribute your books to multiple places in exchange for a fee. And I just love the global reach. Um, that StreetLib offers. And so that's another place that I'm in as well. I'd love to know where you all sell your books. Let me know in the comments and uh, maybe we can all find some new places to make some money. So with that, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.